This AI could replace entire $50,000 design teams with a single prompt. I'm about to show you one conversation with this AI that created three epic design use cases in just minutes. And I'm about to show you how you can create your own custom brand that looks stylish and fits your brand. I will show you how you can design infographics effortlessly so you can upload them to LinkedIn or on your Instagram and impress your friends. And I will even show you how you can create product showcase videos in minutes. Now, if you're an entrepreneur or a business professional who's tired of paying thousands for design work or spending weeks learning complex tools, this video is going to blow your mind. I got early access to what's being called the world's first AI design agent, and I put it through the ultimate test. But enough talking, let me show you how it's done. Simply click on the link in the description in order to get access to the beta of the Love Art, or if it's already publicly available, then you might even be able to get a discount code through that. In order to get access, simply click on join the waitlist. But in my case, I already have a code, so I'm clicking on I have a code. I'm submitting my code here, and I'm signing up. In this case, I've signed up with my Google account and it gives me uh, 500 daily credits as well as a starting pot of 5,000 credits upfront. Here you can see the membership plans as well as the daily uh, credit refresh. The free membership gives you 500 credits for free and the starter pack starts at 2,000 credits monthly all the way to 11,000 credits monthly on the pro plan. Love Art is a very straightforward agent. It simply gives you this box works with the design requirements that I want for my project. And then on the left hand side, we see the projects. In this case, uh, this is a new account, so there's no projects yet. This is the profile for my account, which is still empty right now. If you want to see the term of use, privacy policy, and their socials, cl simply click on the bottom right here. First use case I want to show you is a use case that is very near and dear, and that is actually something that I'm using this tool for right now. And that is, uh, I'm asking it, please create a complete brand guide for my personal brand called MoLooker. I have a YouTube channel where I cover AI tools and build automation workflows to help people be more productive. Here's the starting point of the design I like. This is my YouTube banner. Please create a complete brand guide, logo, and assets that I can use later on. And I will upload this image as my reference. If you're new to the channel, you can see that this is the actual banner that I'm using here. So feel free to subscribe if this is something that you're interested in. If not, let's continue with the video. Let's, now that we submitted this uh, design that I liked, let's click create. And before I'll show you the outcome of this, let's go through this quick tutorial. We see that we have infinite canvas. We can pan infinite canvas with a hand tool and the middle of the mouse button. We can use quick actions. So when an image is selected, we can press the tab to enter the edit mode and use, uh, or we can use uh, control or command and enter to send it to the agent chat box. The toolbox is on the bottom right corner and that has the insert button right here. So we can access all of the tools feature through the insert menu and there's advanced editing uh, capabilities. For example, upscale, outpaint, remove background, remover, in paint, uh, smudge, etc. So let's get started. We gave it my specific background that we like and the prompt that I gave it right here. It said, let me think about it. I'll help you create a complete brand guide and analyze the image. And then here's the initial assessment, a dark navy, blue background, white text, yellow and orange accent colors, clean sans serif type typography, professional yet approachable imagery, and focus on automation productivity themes. Now, this is the interactive part of this whole tool. It now asks me questions back. In this case, it asked me, would you like to see inspiration images first or shall I create visual identity designs directly based on your requirements? I wanna see the inspiration images first so that we can have an input on this whole design process. Now I'd like to know which of these inspiration images appeal to you most so I can better understand your preferences. Here are the different design images. Modern, tech personality, and brand identity. So we can click through these and um, answer in the chat. I like that this is clean and textured, so I'm gonna include that. I also like this. This is clean, really easy to use, easy to understand, the yellow stands out. Oh, and here we have a few more neutral tones. Let's see how these look like. I like that as well. I think that's nice and clean. Overall, I like the modern tech logos with ge geometric shapes and gradients. Now there's a follow-up question. 
Which design direction would you prefer for your brand identity? I like the futuristic gradient, uh, gradient circuit. Uh, I really like that. Um, that's already included in my current design. And there we go. It gave me the core visual direction with the future with the exact guidance here. It gives me the core visual direction. It gives me the logo system, which is a letter form fusion negative space build and ML monogram, which is short for my name, Mo Luker. And then here's the color palette, deep space blue, signal yellow, soft glare white. And then the typography is a mix of this space grotesque bulk, as well as for the interregular, which is a very common web font. Here are the iconography as well as the circuit motives and the layout and composition. Here's uh, the explanation of the YouTube banner as well as th thumbnail system, derived assets, resolution and texture effects, mood and voice, uh, accessibility and scalability. And this brings us to the next question and that is, does the design guidance align with your vision for your brand? Would you like to make any adjustments before we proceed with creating the logo designs? Yes, this guidance aligns with my vision. Proceed with logo designs. Let's check it out. Overall, I like the soft curves without the harsh corners. So either number one or number three, but number three is has too much going on. So I like the more simplistic version of number one. So I'm gonna choose this one. So now that it gave me the logo, it's now starting to work on the other parts of the brand's identity and it's creating the essential derived elements from your brand guide. And this will help them create consistency across all of my platform materials. Based on your selected logo, I'd like to create following derived elements for your brand guide. Does this cover what you need? Yes, that is correct. And here we have it. We have the first uh, color palette. The signal yellow is still white, but that's probably just because of the generation. And let's see how the next thing turned out. And there we have it. Here's the typography system. And it's showing the display font, which is space grotesque bulk. And I like that, that looks very clean and I would be happy to use this on my website and on my YouTube channel. And here's the horizontal logo lookup. That looks super clean, I like that. ML, it has the circuit board elements, the arrow, the gradient, and my name in white. It stands out really easily. And here's the YouTube banner, which is AI tools and automation workflows. That's exactly, that's what I do. So that's great that I recognize that. This is the social media avatar, and I like the look of this. This looks very modern, it sticks out, it's easy to read. So overall, that's great. And the next thing is already done. So this is now the YouTube thumbnail template, which is currently in Square, but I could extend that later on. Here's a business card that looks elegant. There's a little error here with the www, but overall, uh, that can be fixed later. This is for you to visualize how things could look. And it finished the generation. So here, let me zoom into this. This is the brand guide with typography, brand elements, color palettes. This doesn't align as well as the other things uh, that it generated so far, but um, overall, um, it gives you a good idea of what you're working with. If I wanted to export these, I could select all of them and click on batch export 10 images and uh, download them either as JPEG or PNG. Let me show you another fantastic use case for this. But it gets even better. Now that we have the general logo and everything ready, we can use this base logo and create reference images with either t-shirts or merchandise or how this would look on a billboard. So let's do those things as well. We're still in our project. Simply click on the logo that we would like to create. Click on the image generator. Let's click on the canvas and select the image that we would like to reference. I'm typing in here, use my logo and showcase how it would look like on a black t-shirt. We give it the image reference and we can even specify uh, the dimensions. In this case, we'll make it a portrait mode and the quality on medium. Let's click on generate. And let's click on the right hand side and let's uh, prompt it to generate a billboard uh, with an ad for my personal brand. Create a mock-up of a billboard that speaks to my target audience and use my brand guidelines. Now, this is a great showcase of the AI agent because it will now not only create the billboard, it will think through the steps of what is my target audience, what are my design principles, and then it will use flux context in order to generate this billboard. And I'm curious to see what it will look like. And there we have it. Automate your workflow, amplify your productivity, Moluker. Nice. This is a great look and uh, this kind of gives me a good idea of what a billboard be like here in San Francisco. Here's the t-shirt mock-up that I came up with, a big ML Mo Luker uh, below, but we want to expand on this and we will use this as a reference image this time. And instead of going with the image generator on the left-hand side, let's add this to the chat this time. 
and prompt the same thing that we gave the other chat on the right hand. And this time we'll ask it the same thing. So now we'll prompt it in the chat because it has more context of my whole brand's design rather than just using the image generation feature on the top left hand corner. Here we go. This looks amazing. This looks great. That's exactly what I wanted. Smaller logo, top right corner, a black t-shirt on a white background. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. It created all these different ideas as merchandise. It created a hoodie that says automate everything with a cool, with exactly my design guidelines and my identity. How cool is this? This looks super sleek. It created a mat for a computer with my logo on it. It created a computer sleeve. It created a mug, code, automate, repeat, fun slogan. And it even created a poster with all of those things in one place, all together with Flux Context. You gotta admit, that is super impressive. And yes, it is not 100% perfect, but it is definitely workable because now I have a complete merchandise and a brand guideline all in one tool. And I could see this be super useful for all sorts of other things that I create. For the second use case, I wanted to give you an example that you could use and uh, post publicly on your LinkedIn or your Instagram. So for that, I'm asking at the prompt, create a five part infographic series, and then you can put whatever you want. In this case, I said in an AI agency, highlighting the top AI tools for business professionals, five images with logos, stats, and pro problem solutions using warm 2025 color palettes. Focus on AI in the workplace to be more productive. And let's see what it comes up with. So here it's thinking, it's helping me create a five part infographic. And here we go. It created all of them in these warm colors around red, orange, yellow, and it comes up with nice charts. It, it does a nice little, it comes up with the graphic for the people as well as the laptop. And uh, overall, this looks super professional out of the get go. This is something you can then now post to a LinkedIn carousel or post it somewhere where this infographic is actually helpful. I wanted to see what else it can create. And I say that is great, but now create them in a more modern, simplistic uh, looking style. Think clean design style like Apple marketing materials. Please create five new ones in the new style. And it comes up with these ones. It is a much cleaner style. Um, both of these are great, but uh, depending on where you want to post these, one might be better than the other. Here created another one, it's super clean looking. It even created the, it even included different logos. I love that. Here it also included ChatGPT, Grammarly, Jasper logos. And overall, this is a very stunning and super easy way to create different marketing materials for yourself or for your company. And that brings us to our third use case where I'll show you how you can use this design tool in order to plan out videos for product launches or for social media. And then you can create those videos right there in the app. Everything is hooked together into one AI video agent. Let's create a, a commercial or a little clip that can be posted on a social media page for a business in less than 10 minutes. Let me show you how I do that. For this example, I'm going to make a video of someone licking this cone and I'm going to send that to my parents who own this gelato shop so that they can post that on their Instagram. So we can easily do that. Let's take a screenshot of this. Going over here and creating a new project. Click on create new project. And let's call this gelato cone video. In order to work with a video in the first place, let's upload a video right here. We can click on insert and we can click on import images. Let me import the screenshot that I just took right here. If we want to use this video in the chat, we can simply click on here and click on add to chat. And you can either ask it, extract that cone and put it on a transparent background, or we can click on this and we can click on background removal. Select remove background. Since we still want the original image, let's keep it as is. And let's click on copy this one. Copy. And let's paste it to the same board. This time, let's remove the background for real. And let's use this as the base for our video. Let's click on this image and add it to the chat. But I'm adding this prompt. Turn this into an interactive video that starts off with a focus on the cone, but then a woman grabs the cone and licks it and smiles at the camera. Let's shoot that off into the chat. The agent is thinking about it, and then it comes up with an in-depth plan to uh, create this video. And the agent comes up with some images for me to choose which one I like the best for this uh, product showcase. In this case, I selected the middle one. And then 
love art is now turning this into an interactive video. Oh, look at this delicious raspberry ice. And it created a second option for me to choose, which also has subtitles oh, at this as well as video. Raspberry ice cream cone. The color is so vibrant and inviting. Mm, I can't wait to try it. Damn, this is really cool. So this is not even our cone. We just uh, have it. It came up with a script in order to promote this cone. But that's not really what I had in mind. This is a 27 second clip. So I wanted it to be a little bit more of a video without a script or voiceover. So I tell the agent that. And um, then it comes up by recreating the cone that I uploaded and gives, gives me these as examples. And it generated the background music as well as a video of exactly my description of someone grabbing the cone and uh, licking it. So let's check it out. There's someone grabbing it and licking it. Pink background, a hand grabs it and then a woman goes, licks at it and smiles. But I didn't want this to be with the soft turn ice cream cone. So I mentioned this right here and that I would like to use the regular ice cream or gelato cone with the round ice cream scoop and put it for me together right here. How cool is this? It's just a complete video exactly as I described it from first upload of the image right here to the background removal to coming up with the concept of a video, creating a script, giving me the video right here, and then also creating a secondary video where that looks very different but has the same direction as that we wanted to go through. As you can see with the use cases we just covered, LoveArt is capable in all regards. Anything from coming up with brand strategy to designing posters for social media and doing research, all the way to generating videos for product showcases. This is a good point to mention that LoveArt AI actually gave me early access to test their tools and showcase them on my channel. So thank you so much for giving me early access. Nevertheless, all of my opinions are my own and this is how I actually generally feel about this tool. If you want to get an invitation code, comment below in the video and I'll make sure to negotiate with LoveArt and see if I can get all of you guys an invite code. I wanna hear from you. Which of these different use cases was most interesting to you? And what other things do you wanna see me cover? And what questions do you have or other things that you think I should create and make a video about? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm currently working on another video where I'm showcasing how an AI agent can help uh, overcome other different types of businesses that are not design related. So if that is something that interests you, check out my video on my channel and consider subscribing. Like this video and comment if this was helpful and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.